Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today I'm going to talk about two things, something called bushings for your router and I'm also going to talk about the speed of router bits, so stick around. For those of you who are not familiar with bushings, this is what they look like and you can see that they come in different sizes and I only have a very small selection of them. Uh, they come in a much bigger size than this, they come quite large. Now if you're looking at this, this is the holder for them and depending on the kind of router that you have, uh, typically what happens is this will fit up inside the router and I'll put that on in a minute so you can see it. This will fit in the router and the bushing will slide underneath and then there's a little uh, securing uh, nut that goes on top and it holds the bushing like that in the router. There and that's what that plate looks like. Now if I were to put one of the bushings in there it simply goes in like that and the, the nut that I talked about goes in the back like that and you only need to snug that down by hand it doesn't need to be any kind of a wrench. I'm just going to grab a router bit and stick that in there just so you can see how that aligns and when I move that down you can see the router bit in there and that's how it protrudes. And when you're cutting any of these bushings Basically the outside of the bushing is what rides against some sort of a template and that's what I'm going to show you next is what kind of a template, what, where you might be using something like this. Now before I do that I want to show you I have two different brands of routers here as you can see and this router system plate does not fit in this router. Now what I can do if I really wanted to use these bushings in this router which I could do um, sometimes there's adapters that you can purchase where you can use these uh, and you know what sometimes you can just make them out of plastic it's not that difficult to do. Now I'm going to leave this router laying on its side so that you can see the business end of what this looks like um, and typically you would only use these bushings in a handheld router. You would rarely, I, I can't imagine a situation where you would use it in a router table but there could be a, a, a time. Um, and basically as I showed you there's a, a bit of an offset between the outside of these bushings and where the uh, bit is and depending on the size of the bushing and the size of the bit you would need to measure that if that was a critical thing that you needed to do to, to cut something. For example you might be cutting circles there might be something some special size circle that you need to cut um, and in this case um, this would be a template so this is where the, that guide bushing would be moving around on and your bit would be coming through just like that, I'll move that to the side so you can see that, would be to the side and that would, is where the wood would be cutting. So you would be making some sort of a, a circle or making it smaller or deeper or something like that. Now the other thing, here's a, a, a practical and this is used fairly often, um, for example if you had the right size bushing um, you could use this for mortising. Uh, and, and this is a fairly common thing with some people, they use these for mortises and you can have a series of, of stops in here, different sizes, these are easy to make, uh, there's just a hole saw with the cutout in the middle, nothing fancy, um, but you can have different size, different lengths, mortises, different widths uh, and you can route that out according to whatever it is that you want to make. One of the biggest uses of these bushings is using them with uh, dovetail jigs and this is my commercial version here and I've taken the front uh, hole down off so that you'll be able to see. But basically what I'm going to do is flip it up on end so that you'll be able to see exactly when it is cutting into the wood and I have the, the you can see that I have the bit protruding down a little bit but basically those bushings just ride in there and you can see that it's a nice tight fit in there, there it is there and basically you just go from one it goes up and over and into the next one and it just keeps going and going as long as you're making the dovetail and that's how that machine works and that's one of the best uses of using these little bushings with the dovetailing jig. 
There's another bushing. Uh, this is called a inlay kit, and basically you get uh, a collet that has two parts. You can see that one fits inside the other. Uh, and there's also a, a special router bit that you would get with this. And basically what you do is you make a template of whatever shape and size that you want. And then with the um, bushing with the large um, insert install, you go along the inside and basically it makes an outline of your template. Then you would remove the wood from the inside. Then with that same template, you just take that outer um, outside part off and you use the same template. And what you end up with then is the outline of this. And then with that piece of wood, you take that to a bandsaw or you can hand cut it off and just slice off the back and then you end up with a piece of wood like this which then is a perfect fit for fitting inside the hole that you just created. Uh, and I'm going to do a detailed video on that later on but there's a, a bow tie or what we call a butterfly um, and it can be decorative or it can be functional. Um, but just another thing that you can do with bushings. Let's talk about bit speed for a moment uh, and here's a couple of different routers and both of them have adjustable speeds on them and they both go from 1 to 6. Well, I remember the first router that I had that was commercially available. We didn't even have speed controls on it. It just had a switch that went off and on. But the first router that we ever had, they only took quarter inch routers bits. So um, now we have half inch bits and we have half inch bits because we have these great big honking router bits that we can use now. And there's no real... Um, specific rules about what speeds are, except that uh, typically the bigger router bits, just for safety reasons, we want to back the speed down on those. They want to be sort of half speed or maybe even two thirds, and it really depends on the size of the bit. So you don't want to spin these at full speed on your router. You want to back it down a little bit. Now these smaller router bits, um, you can run these as a rule. You can run these at the highest speed. And router bits typically want to run at the highest speed. They're a little bit like your table saw. Your table saw doesn't have a speed control on it. All the blades that go on it, they want to run at the highest speed because that's where they perform the best. Um, but on routers, we have other considerations. And one of the considerations is burning wood. And even though you can run these at the highest speed, you might want to back the speed down a bit if you're burning the wood. And roundover bits are particularly bad for that, and some woods are particularly bad for that. They will burn the wood, and the way to, um, in some cases, to avoid that or to minimize that is to slow the bit down, and, and in some cases, actually, is to speed the bit up. It really depends on the wood, uh, sometimes the moisture content, the species, uh, the density, lots of different things go into it. So the smaller bits you can run kind of at any speed and and the higher in most cases the higher the better because that's where you'll get um, usually less tear out um, a little bit finer cuts um, but you may still want to back it down so there's no real um, guideline that i can give you that say you know this is what you need to do other than bigger bits you want to slow them down the smaller bits can go at a higher speed, but you might not want to do that depending on what you're cutting and what the species is if it's burning. So that's the short and the long of setting your router speed. Well, that concludes my video for today. Uh, just sort of an overview on bushings for your router uh, and some guidelines on setting the speed of your router. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.